This is a video of a very cheap and easy to make halfway vertical antenna that you can make for the CB band. Now basically it consists of a piece of ladder line as a matching section. The ladder line is about 8 feet uh, 2 inches. This is the ladder line right here. This is just a matching section to give you low SWR. And then attached to just one side of that is a piece of 14 gauge stranded insulated wire and that piece is 17 feet 3 inches. This is actually the part of the antenna that radiates. And I'm walking to the end. I got the bricks just to hold it down. And there's a little PVC insulator at the end and then you tie your rope to it and you could hang it from a tree limb. And just let the weight pull it vertical. Uh, the ladder line I got from my ham radio outlet. You can find it on the internet. It's pretty cheap. And again that is uh, 8 feet 2 inches and then exactly about 7 inches above the bottom you strip some of the insulation off right there I'll hit the macro lens so you can see that and you strip insulate off that's where you're gonna hook your coax and down at the bottom of the ladder line you want to twist the two ends together you see how that's twisted and soldered together you only do this on the bottom end you don't do that on the top he said and you adjust the SWR by you connect your, connecting your coax right there, seven to eight inches up. You put the shield on one side and you put the center conductor on the other. Now you want the center conductor on the same side of the ladder line that connects to the green, to the insulated wire at the top of the radiating element. So if we follow that up on the right side, all the way up, I'll back off on the camera here. You'll see that the little green wire connects to the right side so that's where we want to put the center conductor to that side and the shield to the other side that doesn't have anything connected not going for a close-up you can see these two sides are not twisted together and you do, it's only at the bottom and uh, you take your coax and you want to make a little coil about five six inches in diameter uh, six to eight turns you can just tape it up electrical tape then you take that makes what's called an RF choke. The purpose of that choke is to keep the uh, RF from running back down the outside of the coax. So strip your insulation off the end of this. Put the braid here, solder it on. Your center conductor there, solder it on. Wrap it up real good with electric tape, and you may want to use like a little zip tie. You come down here and tie this in place down here at the bottom just to kind of hold it. And then tape this up at the bottom where I have the two ends twisted together and solder together and that'll give you halfway vertical performance wise this is about the same as an antron 99 an antron 99 is a half wave over a quarter wave but what they don't tell you is the bottom quarter wave section really doesn't radiate any powers for matching purposes only and this works real well i've had one up now for about 10 or 11 months uh, and uh, i've been really pleased with it and i actually have it hanging from a tree and i'll show you that here in the next video now on the one I'm using the tree, I, I use the one-to-one -one voltage ballon to connect at the bottom. I did initially use the coil, the coax coiled up, and that did work real well. But I decided to go with a, a voltage ballon, a one-to-one -one voltage ballon, just so I could use some higher power. Because my initial coax was only RG58. It was great for 100 to 200 watts, but once I went over that, I started cooking the coax. So I went with a 1500 watt one-to-one -one ballon. So I'll show one hanging from a tree limb here in just a second. This is my vertical wire J-pole. Uh, ignore the horizontal wires. You just want to look at the coax going straight up to that tree limb. And you can see the ladder line at the bottom, the little fat part at the bottom right where the coax meets. The ladder line is the one-to-one -one voltage ballon. And then the 17-foot, uh, three-inch piece of 14-gauge of, uh, stranded insulated wire. Then it goes to the tree limb, and then the rope comes down to the other side of the tree limb, like this, and hooks to the fence. So if I need to work on the antenna, which I don't generally do, but I can raise it and lower it uh, with these. I got that up there by using a, a wrist rocket slingshot and a fishing weight and a pony fishing reel. I shot the weight over the tree limb with the slingshot and I had the fish line attached to it. When it came down the other side, I just uh, attached some mason twine to it and pulled it. Pulled that through and then once I had that over it, then I hooked the rope to it and pulled that up over the tree limb. So that's about 86 feet at the very top. I actually measured that by taking a piece of string and hooking it to the bottom of the antenna and letting it drop to the ground and then I measured the length of the string to the bottom plus the length of the antenna so the top of that's 86 feet. It works real well. Um, 
Next I'll go on the shack and show you the SWR. And again, you can adjust the SWR by moving the tap point at the bottom of the coax hooks up or down. So for instance, check your SWR on channel 1 and then channel 40. If your SWR is lower on 1 than it is on 40, then you need to move the tap point up the antenna a little bit, you know, further away from the bottom. And likewise, if your SWR is lower on 40 and higher on 1, then you need to move the tap point down or closer to the bottom of the antenna. That's how you adjust the SWR. All right, now we're going to test the J-Pole. I have a hook to a 40-channel middle in the 79-892 Vantage CB from 1977. And uh, we'll go ahead and I'll give you a close-up so you can see what's going on here. Switch to the macro lens. And uh, we'll put this on channel 20. So you should be able to see there. should be say, channel 20. You can make that out. And uh, the SWR, 4 watts in, and uh, there you go, 4 watts, shows a 1 to 1, let's make sure it's calibrated, there's the calibrate, you can see you got the calibrate set, 1 to 1 SWR, 4 watts out, 1 to 1 SWR, We'll go up to channel 40. We've got it to about a 1.4. Go down to 1. We've got about a 1.2 or 3 down there, so I could probably center it a little better. Of course, let's recalibrate just to make sure. Pretty close. So I could probably still fine tune that just a little bit. This is the antenna that's sitting way up on top of the tree. And then on 40, check calibrate. Still pretty close. So there you go. 1.4 on 40. 1.4 Make down 20. 1.1. 4 watts out. That's the J-pole hanging from the tree limb at about 86 feet. Turn the volume up. See if there's anybody talking on any of the other channels. It's mostly skip right now coming in. But this is the wire J pole. 86 feet in the air. Mostly just skip. I've used it to talk local and uh, generally I've gotten uh, with about 100 watts on on AEM local I've probably talked 80 something miles with it. Not too bad. 86 feet, 100 watts, half wave, uh, in fed vertical. Wire J-pole. So there you go.